Occasionally I spot something on a map that just intrigues me and in this case it's just outside of a Schaffenburg, a castle that I never actually knew existed and also something called the Devil's Pulpit. But I just had to take a look so here I am. I've just got to find it. As it turns out I had actually heard of the castle before but indirectly. More on that later but first it's a bit of a walk up a hill known as the Gudelsberg. Well, it's a great way to keep fit, so let nobody say I'm lazy. On the other hand... Oh, uh, what's this? A uh, welcome chance to sit down. So according to this inscription, this uh, rather uncomfortable looking bench was actually uh, put up by a grateful city in the year 1912 in memory of uh, councillor Georg Engelhardt, uh, who created this park. Now, I haven't done a lot of research about this just yet, but I will when I get back home. But from what I understand about this castle is that it was uh, built deliberately as a ruin in the 19th century. So uh, not really an authentic castle in the sense that it was actually used as a castle but rather built by a rich person uh, called Kip, uh, hence the name Kippenburg, um, just in order to show off and have something pretty and romantic. But anyway, I'm sure that uh, I'll go back home and check up on this. And so future me is going to add a commentary to explain a little bit more. Um, take it away, future me. Actually, my future self is having too much fun, so we'll catch up with him later. This is me from the far future. But yes, the castle was built in 1839 by Adam Kipp as a folly. It seems he based his design on a ruined castle near Rudersheim and right from the start it was intended as a venue for public festivals and in fact it still is to this day. So if I'm not much mistaken that should be it. Well, I'll be honest um, the photos that I saw actually looked a bit um, more interesting than this. Um, I know this place is normally closed to the public, but I was expecting a bit more. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that looks more like what I was looking at. If you're interested, you can actually hire this place for private events. As far as I can tell, it's owned by the city of Aschaffenburg, but run and maintained on its behalf by a local carnival club. So I just met some uh, members of the uh, carnival club, actually, uh, which is responsible for the upkeep of this place. Um, and they let me uh, come up here into the tower. This is not something that's normally accessible to the public and uh, with very good reason. Um, it's, uh, how shall I put it, uh, definitely not wheelchair accessible. Hello me from the past, this is me from the future and I'm at the Kippenburg Festival. <laughs> So now this video has three versions of me. But yes, ever since 1965, the Carnival Club has organised a festival which takes place on the first three weekends of July every year when there isn't a deadly pandemic. And that's where I'd heard the name Kippenburg before. It's a very popular event. And this is how full it was in the middle of the day. Anyway, uh, enough of that, back to my past self. Now they've uh, actually told me that this place is uh, publicly acce accessible. Uh, it's just they put all these uh, fences up to stop people falling down the hill, apparently. Um, but anyway, I'm now going to see if I can find the Devil's Pulpit, which I believe is over there.
It's an interesting fact about the devil that he seems to be responsible for some of the most interesting and spectacular sights. Something called the Devil's Pulpit is going to be a natural rock formation with excellent views, and this one didn't disappoint. Well, I'll tell you what, that is definitely some view. Look at that. You know, I can't believe I didn't realise this place exists. According to legend, Lucifer himself accidentally dropped these rocks as he was flying over, which was rather clumsy of him. Apparently, in very good weather, you can actually see Frankfurt from here. And so as I uh, make my way back home, um, all I need to do now is to thank the members of the Stadtgarde Aschaffenburg uh, for their unexpected and very welcome help in making this video possible. Mm -hmm.